Yo, welcome back to the channel. So that's it. It's bye bye to this section of my life. It's over. It's finished. I'm moving on in life. The house, the little rental house. It's been a good one. How much was it? 90 euro a month. 90 euro a month to live in one of the best African islands, little paradise island, in one of the best areas as well of the island. Like it's it's, it's amazing. Like how cheap it is this house. But um. Had his little problems, right? Like, had his little problems, but not so many. Um, not really that many problems, I don't think. Light switches, he got cheap light switches, so they're, they're broken. This one's actually dangerous. There's two of them. I need to replace them, really. Seeing as I'm moving out. It was alright, it's a nice little house. Nice little kitchen. It was alright, I need to take my fridge. I need to take my cooker. And I'm moving, obviously, to the... Um, Airbnb job that we're fixing up. I'm going to move there and um, I'm going to stay there for a little while, like maybe a um, couple of months. I don't know how long I'm going to stay there, to be honest with you. But there you go. So I wanted to talk to you about um, Andrew Tate. Have you seen Andrew Tate? I mean, like, I think most people know who Andrew Tate is. Especially people who are under like 45, that sort of age, like they know who Andrew Tate is. And even the older ones will have seen it on the news and that. But um, I reckon that, that it could be the world's biggest hoax. Imagine, right, you've got a few million quid and you, you go to Romania, where I, I know it's European and all that, like... But it's not exactly the same as some other European countries when it comes to law and order and corruption and bribery, that sort of thing. So how about you got a few million quid, you say to the, the top judges in the country, um, I want you to put me in prison, me and my brother, obviously give me a bit of luxury in prison as well, you know. But obviously put me the odd day, put me in with the, the, the ruffians and all that and take some photographs for later to show that I was actually in prison and all that. Um, and charge me with some awful crime and then find me not guilty and say it was all a big misunderstanding, you've, you've done nothing wrong. I get all my stuff back and um, everything, everybody in the world knows who Andrew Tate is and all of a sudden... I'm one of the biggest, biggest personalities, not with just 16, 15, 13 year olds, but with like everybody loves me. So that's what I think he's done. I reckon he's paid them to put him in prison for three months of his life to become the world's most famous, um, whatever he is, I don't even know what he is like, but blagger, kidder, I don't know, liar, whatever. But uh, personality is a word I'm looking for, like, in it? Personality. The world's biggest personality. What do you reckon? Do you reckon it's possible that it could be a hoax? This whole thing, like... Because now he's been released from prison, hasn't he? You know? He was only on on remand. They don't release you from remand, yeah? If, you put, if you're put on remand in prison and they say, you're a flight risk, you've got too much money, you can fly away and never come back to face these charges, we're putting him in, putting you in prison. Right, and took him off home arrest, put him in prison, or just arrested him from home and put him in prison. Right, you don't let him out after three months, like it doesn't happen, like not for them sort of charges. Yeah, fair enough. If you got like if you've been caught with like 80 dollars $80 worth of weed or something, eighty dollars worth of smack or something, maybe punching a fucking fucking guy in the face in in a bar or something, fight or something, you know, maybe. But um. Not for, like, people trafficking, human trafficking, women trafficking, you know, and all the rest, like, cam, cam girls, whatever they were talking about, like, trying to charge him with. I mean, obviously, those charges are still there, like, maybe I'll be completely wrong and he'll end up in prison for the next 12 years. And then I'll be like, nah, that wasn't a hoax, like, there's no way you'd put yourself in prison for 12 years, would you? And pay a few million for the privilege. Not going to be a case. But... There you go, that's today's little um, thinking like, yep, so I'm moving, that's it, I'm going to the Airbnb, and um, I'm going to live there, and hopefully get it all lovely, and then maybe try buy it off the woman, if I can buy it off her, she wants big money, that's the problem, like, 
right she did want fifty thousand before when covid was hitting hard she wanted fifty thousand euro then she said or dollars and then she said i want like uh sixty thousand when covid was coming to an end right and i spoke to her the other day now I've fixed it up and it's looking a lot better like the staircase is a lot easier to, to use safer um, it's coming on the place is starting to look nice she said, ah, oh, 80,000. And I'm like, you what? What do you mean 80,000? That's a lot of money, that, like, madame. That's a lot of money. So I'm, I need to talk to her and try and get a deal. Obviously, I'll get a deal eventually. If I want it, I'll get it. Simple as that. Because it's, it, it's it, even at 80,000, it's cheap. Yeah? Because it's worth... Um, I shouldn't really be selling you this on, on video, like. But it's it's worth... I reckon it's worth 150,000. So say it's say it's only worth one hundred and thirty-five thousand, and I buy it for seventy-five or eighty. There you go. You can do the maths on that. What's that? Fifty-five thousand, sixty thousand profit direct by doing nothing. That's nice money. Like I buy myself a Land Cruiser with that. Go on all the round the world trip on them um, on a nice beautiful boat. Could do anything. But um, I, won't, I probably won't even be selling it. I want to develop that. I want to develop the downstairs into two more apartments. So I've got three. I've got a four-bedroom apartment, a two-bedroom apartment, another two-bedroom apartment. I want to buy next door as well. Their little plot of land, which is tiny, but it's big enough to put a swimming pool. And I'll have my own swimming pool, just like this one here. But this is um, it's only like two inches deep. It's a rice field. And she's just been out there planting all the new rice today. They do a little um, nursery of like rice, rice. They put like loads of loads of them in, and then they pull them all out, and then spread them out like this, and replant them. She's got rice here that's not ready yet. She's got rice here that's getting started off. She's got it going on. This woman like lives in a little house at the end. Nice little life. Nice day today. Nice and warm. Nice and sunny. It's all right. I, I hope the rains have stopped. I really do. I don't know. I've never lived in the north in, in, of Madagascar apart from Diego. I lived there for a bit, and I've seen the rainy season there. But I'm hoping here it's gonna it's gonna dry up now, and we're gonna get some beautiful days where the temperature goes down a little bit and the the rain stop, and it'll be really really nice. There you go. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Give us a like. Give us a sub from Nosy Bay Island, Madagascar.